I suppose a lot of my work is working with different types of dialogues and different groups who are involved in the area of mental health. So as a background, I'm a mental health practitioner across different modalities. Um, my main interest is in different perspectives that people have, for example, survivors of the system, people who use mental health services, family members of people who use services, and the different professional groups. So most of my work is looking at community approaches uh, that brings people together with their different perspectives in order to try and create uh, a mutual way of trying to move forward in the area of mental health psychosocial disabilities. Um, I do this through trying to research into how people think and act but also into trying to get people to come together so that they can perhaps think differently and act together differently both in the mental health system services but also and perhaps for me more importantly in the community itself. Originally, a long time ago, I trained uh, first as a mental health nurse and I thought the way to change the world was to get the right diagnosis, get the right drug and everybody will be happy. Um, how naive of me. Um, maybe within 10 years of working in a lot of different communities, first of all in England, but also I did some voluntary work overseas which gave me a, a diverse perspective on people's experiences and I very quickly began to realise that this system just perpetuates psychosocial disability, it does not help it. So from here, I grew different ways of thinking, different ways of acting, and perhaps by my engagement initially with uh, survivors and peer support workers, that was where I first began to change my mind. And then it's been an ongoing evolution since then. So if I was to think of some of the things that have happened in Ireland over the past while that seems to be able to create a change, um, I could think of maybe three things that are beginning to, to make a, a remarkable change. Uh, one is uh, where people have taken discussions about uh, anything to do with mental health, the services or otherwise, into a tripartite approach. So this could be a consumer panel, for example, which is about building capacity in the community where all of the stakeholders get involved. Or, for example, in many communities around Ireland, we've created a trilogue approach. So people come in the community in a neutral venue and they begin to think differently about how things happen and can happen in the world. And then they translate this back into their engagement with the mental health services. Um, also, the, the peers um, in Ireland started off as an advocacy movement in kind of 1999, 2001. It moved from advocacy and it continues today where there is peer advocates all over Ireland to peer support. So now we have more and more peer support uh, workers. Uh, now, don't get me wrong, it is slow. Um, but for the first time in our history, we have a new grade of staff, for example, in the National Health Service, which is a, a formal role of peer support worker. And the very first formal peer support worker begins in the Irish Mental Health Services in February 2017. So I think this will have a radical change because it completely changes the multidisciplinary view and it brings the expertise by experience. And where this has happened in small ways around the country, informally, we are seeing change. Um, it causes some problems, but I think this is a major change is going to happen here. The third one is where we've begun more and more to move away from the clinical services into more social orientated services, into more educated services. So at the moment there is a movement towards what we call recovery colleges. So they are like colleges um, where people co-produce uh, kind of educational material that they feel will help them thrive in their lives. Um, not only people with psychosocial disabilities, but professionals and family members connected who come together, they co-produce the education material and then they co-deliver this and it's outside of clinical intervention. So it's like an emancipatory way of self-education uh, to some way, you know, using Paulo Freire's kind of idea of overcoming the oppression of mental illness, of the mental health services uh, to find our own way through. So this is quite new in Ireland, but it's shown very good improvements at the moment.